Hello, and now we're looking at the Psychology 1 assignment. Now this assignment, <coughs> excuse me, this assignment is in two parts. It's one assignment, two pieces to it. Both pieces get us handed in or posted in Blackboard at the same date. So please pay attention to the date. Now the part is basically, part one is pick a topic in psychology that interests you and as it relates to the course material that we're doing. You can find that information, of course, in the textbook. You'll look through there and you might find some very interesting things and things that might interest you and you can do a, a, a bit of research on that topic. Now I'm going to post uh, in week one some sample ideas. Please don't feel limited by those. You can explore another idea if you'd like. And you're going to do some credible, authoritative and reliable research and this is where the library resources come in handy. Please watch that video to get some tips on how to use it and to increase the likelihood that you can do positive research. The alternative way is to go talk to the librarians for their assistance. Now once you get this two pieces of research, I want you to summarize it. Now I don't want it to be an extensive summary. You'll see in the next few pages uh, what that will look like. Um, but what I want to be able to do is uh, show you basically, so I've submitted in this document how to do a summary. The part two um, is going to be um, a video. You make a five minute video, tell me what your topic is and why it's important, summarize briefly the two pieces of research, and then some practical application. How does this idea, this thought, maybe you're doing your research on how much is a good amount of sleep to have to be a successful student. Well, why is that important? Tell me why that's important to you. Now that might be important to you personally, it might be important to other students. It may be something that you value and see as important in your career. So what the topic is, why is it important, tell me about your two pieces of research and its practical application. How will you use it? What will you do with this information now that you have it? So part one is the research and the summary. Part two is the video and they both get handed in together. They get both get posted in your journal. Now what you're seeing is a brief framework of what it is that you need to do and a sort of a rubric of sorts to sort of help you with the expectation including the due date. Then I've shown you a piece here that has two parts. There's basically the steps that you need to take. Here's an example of what one would look like. Now mine may be longer as a summary than you will uh, need to do. I'm looking for a half to three quarters of a page of a summary highlighting the main points of what the author's saying. What I don't want is your opinion and I do not want quotes. You're doing a summary all in your own words. Here's the rubrics that reminds you in your own words not your opinion, and no eye language, and no quotes. Make sure that you submit your document. If you're using the library services, most of those research pieces come with uh, a downloadable PDF. Just attach that and put a APA formatted URL or link um, for, uh, formatted in APA uh, for me. This next piece here is step by step on how to do an effective summary. And there's two pages here with individual steps that you can do to make this a successful summary and to increase your chances of having a good uh, assignment completed. Okay, now part two. This is about making a video. And you're seeing here is what's incorporated in that. You're taking your idea. You're going to tell me in five minutes. Now I've indicated that you could use Jing and I've given you a link to get this software called Jing. And it's a screen recorder. So when you load it into your computer, um, and operate it, when you put, say, a PowerPoint up on your screen and play it as a, power, as a PowerPoint show or a slideshow, and then use your microphone and talk into your microphone, it will record your voice and what's happening on the screen and save that as a video. Now, you may have an alternative way you'd like to do this. Maybe you'll want to use your cell phone or your uh, iPad or your tablet as a way of making a video. I've had students do uh, songs, I've had students do role playing, I've had students do different sorts of things using different software. Five minutes needs to accomplish these basic things. What's your topic? Why is it important? What does your research say? And a practical application for it. This is the rubric to show you where the marks are coming from. The element, the first segment there around creativity and around multimedia, 
Isabel, please don't give me PowerPoints with just text, 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 text. Be creative. Find graphics that make sense for you. Uh, don't use PowerPoint. Use another method of delivering your content. Um, also, at the bottom, it talks about don't read. Know your material. The better you know your material, the easier it is to talk about it without reading. When you read it, it sounds monotonous. Try to do it in a manner that allows me to understand that you've done research and you've understood it and the topic's interesting to you. So find a topic that you like. Talk to me. I may have some ideas or I can help you refine yours. I hope this works out for you well. Good luck on your assignment. Don't forget the due date. Put it in your calendar.